How's it going boys? In today's video, I'm going to be trying to help you prepare for sort of like a late game team. What I'm going to be showing you is that bounty power is not everything and it is truly all about who you invest into. Let me show you more onto what I'm talking about. Here we have my lovely clan here. Quite a bit of active people. Unfortunately, this guy has been two days. That's what happens when you're inactive. To show you here is this person in my server. As you see here, at the first look at looking at this team, you might think, wow, this guy has a really good team, and he does. His team is pretty good. But where he's made the mistake is he has invested into non-ultra rare characters. This is something that you really don't want to be doing um, when it comes to late game. This guy will very sorely regret this. Um, and this is not me sort of hating on this person at all. Um, this might be all that he can do at this moment, which is understandable. This game is very uh, pay to win, as people would say. Um, but there's really no excuse when you're VIP 10, as you see there. Um, so there's sort of a problem here that needs to be clarified. And uh, I'm just going to sort of simply show you. So this is his team, one point. 44 million, that's 1,440,000 power, quite a bit. And then you have me. This is my team, 1,070,000 power. So I've got one character, 11 star, which is a correct character that you want to invest into. Uh, not saying Sabo specifically, but an ultra rare character. You only want to... 11 star ultra rare characters uh, this is how you prepare for late game as I've stated before in many of my videos I can 11 star my Wano Zora right now but it would not be a smart move due to the amount of resources you would have to invest into an 11 star ultra rare so what I'm going to show you is gameplay I'm going to show you like two fights I'm going to show you a present fight and then I'm going to show you a fight he did before with his previous team. And I'm just going to simply show you that uh, you do not need to be investing into non-ultra rare characters. You need to be preparing for your future team. You need to be lining it up and investing into characters such as these. Uh, that is not preparing for the late game team that is putting you very far behind. So let's get into some gameplay.
Boys, have you have just witnessed there in the beginning of that fight, you might have been thinking, wow, you know, this guy's about to lose. And you might be thinking, wow, how did this guy just lose? And well, just as I explained, you're investing into the wrong people. Uh, he's making mistakes. He must not be watching my videos because I've clarified this many times. Uh, you don't want to be investing into the wrong characters. Um, do not get me wrong. His Rayleigh is dangerous. His Wano Zoro is dangerous. And his Wano Luffy is dangerous. But. But. In the face of a real team. It, it does not matter if you 11 saw that character or not. There's really no excuse as to why you're VIP 10. And you have 300 and over 370,000 more bounty power than me. And we're in the mid-game stage right now. We're talking about two people that are over 1 million bounty power. And this dude has over 370,000 over me. But the only reason I'm winning here is because he's investing into the wrong people. My Sabo. My Sabo, I'm investing into his potential. As we look here at my Sabo, a very good late game character, a very top tier character as I've stated in my tier list video, I'm investing into his potential. As you see here, increasing his stats, investing into this guy, his relics, I'm investing into this, refining them, making them stronger. This one's very good, deep of resistance, defense, attack, HP, very solid one. Skins, accessories, runes, I'm investing into invest worthy characters. Am I completely sleeping on the rest of my team? No. No, not necessarily. As I've stated in previous videos, it is okay to ascend top tier non ultra rare characters to 10 stars but only 10 stars. If you go above and beyond and put these people at 11 and you haven't even 11 starred your ultra rares, then what are you doing? You're not, you're not really preparing yourself for the future and you're putting yourself further behind because as I've stated in previous videos, I've clarified over ascension charts, what you'll need. And, uh, it's, it's very, it's very vast. It's not so easy to get unless you're spending a lot of money alrighty boys so I think that's going to wrap up this video I think what you need to take from this uh, as sort of like a message from this video is it really does matter who you 11 star um, if you just go into this thinking that you can just 11 star your favorite character or somebody like Wano Zoro or something because he's good right now but you're not doing your research and you're not listening to what I'm saying to what the pros are saying then you're going to fall off very quickly and you're going to find yourself uh, in a position where you don't have any food any resources to uh, gather your team back to where it needs to be um, so yeah if you have any uh, if you have any questions if you enjoyed this video leave a like certainly comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel and as always i hope that you have a blessed day peace